Greetings, parents, family members, students, and honored guests. Welcome to Earl Marriott's 2021 live stream commencement ceremony hosted by Peace Portal Alliance Church. My name is Claudine Davies, principal of Earl Marriott Secondary, and I will be emceeing today's virtual ceremony. I would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territories of the Semiamu First Nation. The Semiamu people have been stewards of this land since time immemorial. In our school foyer at Earl Marriott, two Semiamu welcome posts stand guardian over all students, staff, and visitors. The posts show our strong connection with the Semiamu people. Hashka, thank you. We will begin our virtual commencement with the singing of O Canada. Graduate La Tourne will lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Welcome, Lat. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command car ton bras c'est pour tes les pays il sait porter la croix ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you, Milad. It is my pleasure to introduce our honored guests who will bring virtual greetings to all of you. First, representing the Surrey Board of Education, Surrey School District Trustees have created a virtual greeting for all of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Graduation is such an important milestone, and you should be proud of everything that has brought you here today, from that first day of kindergarten to your graduation ceremony today. The friends you've made, the knowledge you've gained, and the life you've lived through. Take pride in your accomplishments and celebrate. Thank you. We know this is not the celebration that you or your families had envisioned, but your grad class will be remembered for years to come. You are the grad class that showed leadership through this pandemic and showed all of us what perseverance and dedication looks like. My hope is that despite this current situation, you all find time to reflect on your achievements and take pride in your graduation. Your journey ahead is likely to overshadow the one that just ended. Your adventures will create many new, significant memories and accomplishments. I know that you will continue moving forward. It is cliche to call these times unprecedented, but what you've endured over the past year is just that. Physical distancing, no large in-person events, blended learning and relentless hand washing are not normal circumstances for any graduating class. Years from now, looking back, you will likely forget some of the memories you've made over this past year, but I urge you to commit a feeling of pride to memory. This has been a difficult year, but you did something amazing. You graduated and we are all extremely proud of you. You know, life is what you make it. And now it's your turn to decide what you want to do going forward. You will face challenges. We all do. But if your time in school has taught you anything, let it be that you have the confidence, the skill, and the knowledge to work through anything that crops up on your way 
to the next steps in your future. While you have reached the end of your formal education with us, there is so much more to come. Your whole lives are ahead of all of you. This past year has shown all of us that each one of you are strong, resilient, and determined driven. It may not seem so today, but as you move on in life, you're going to come to appreciate the truth and all those cliches you hear about how life is a journey, not a destination. You know, my mom always said to my sister and I, your life is a book. Ensure your book has lots of interesting pages. I know you will, and you know what? The really best thing about the future is that it only comes one day at a time. All of us don't know what we really want to do until we find it. So go out there, start looking, and don't stop, and I know that you will achieve your dreams. Parents and caregivers, we sincerely thank you for your contribution to this school community and for your helping your child achieve their grade 12 graduation. Each of your students started this walk as kids, and now they're sprinting across the finish line, not as teens, but as young adults. They are stepping into adulthood with all the knowledge and guidance you have provided. This is an incredibly proud moment for you too. Thank you for everything that you have done to help your student graduate. Thank you to our school staff. Thank you for fostering a safe, caring, and inclusive environment at school. These are important elements for learning, and our staff have been there all along providing daily guidance, support, mentorship, and coaching to help our students learn, grow, and develop. This is a time for you to celebrate and take pride in your hard work in supporting these students in their journey. Congratulations, grads of 2021. I know it's been an eventful year, but no matter what else is going on in the world, this is your year. And it's the start of something exciting. From this day forward, all of you are starting out on a new path that will teach you more about yourself and about life. Muhammad Ali said, the man who views the world at 50, the same as he did at 20, has wasted 30 years of his life. Go out, make the most of your life, enjoy and appreciate the journey. And on behalf of my fellow trustees on the Surrey Board of Education, congratulations on achieving this important milestone. We wish each and every one of you much success in the future. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations and best wishes to the grad class of 2021. To all of our 2021 graduates, congratulations. Good job. Congratulations to all of our grads for 2021. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2021. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Great job. Best wishes for your very bright future. Congratulations, grads of 2021, uh, and all the very best for the future. At this time, we would like to recognize the Governor General Award winner for the EMS grad of 2020. I would like to call upon my colleague, Vice Principal Julie Ockleshaw. For the next part of our ceremony, I am excited to acknowledge one of our, our best and brightest mariners, 2020 Earl Marriott graduate, Alyssa Shaw. On behalf of everyone at Earl Marriott Secondary, I am most pleased to recognize Alyssa as this year's Governor General Award, with this year's Governor General Award for Academic Excellence. Alyssa is not here to receive her award today, but she did wish to express the following to the Earl Marriott community. As the recipient of the Governor General's Academic Medal, 
I am honored for this chance to express my gratitude towards the community of Earl Marriott's teachers and staff. For me, EMS was a place where I formed so many great memories and pinpointed my career path, which would not have been possible without the incredible support of our instructors. With that, I would like to shout out to a few teachers who have inspired, motivated, and encouraged me throughout my time at EMS, and whose influence has, gone, has extended beyond. Thank you to Mr. Pursuit for teaching French in such a fun and rewarding way that I developed an unyielding passion for language learning. Your class was often the highlight of my day. Not only have I now taken up learning Italian, but I have also investigated linguistics and culture in, and culture in several case studies and research projects in university. I would also like to thank Madame McNeil for trusting in me to create your classroom mural. Through building it, I was, I was reminded of design's ability to educate, connect, and spark discussion. It gave me an artistic jumpstart that has now led me to have my work published in newspapers and featured for the first time in a museum exhibition. And finally, thank you to Mrs. Dano for teaching with such humor, dedication, and, gener and gen genuinity. That's a word. <laughs> um, you're, you expanded my interest to, to the scale of the of the chemical world, and because of you, I find myself even more intrigued by the intersection of art and science. This fascination is one that I will continue to pursue at the University of Southern California, where I'm currently double majoring in product design and cognitive science. Although I've, I've had to put sunny LA on hold, starting university in the midst of a global pandemic has taught me a valuable lesson. It is has undoubtedly been a difficult, difficult connecting with peers over Zoom. On the other hand, it was easier to simply focus on academics and get caught up in the hustle culture. But this isn't just a symptom of online schooling. As our schedules become increasingly cluttered with demands of life and beyond high school, we must deliberately prioritize time for building human connections. Both personal and professional success is tied with a network of relationships, and it is important that we work, work at them with just as much vigor, vigor, if not more, than our external endeavors. Thank you, Alyssa Shaw. So on behalf of all of us at Earl Mary, we want to congratulate Alyssa and wish her well on her future endeavors. And now I'd like to bring back Ms. Claudine Davies, our principal, to say a few words. Thank you, Ms. Alkalshaw. I just want to backtrack a little bit, and I hope I'm not um, messing up with the producers here, but I believe we have one other video before I speak. I would like to thank all of the trustees for sending in their videos and their greetings. And I would now like to introduce Ms. Linda Reeve, Assistant Superintendent, who also brings virtual greetings from the Surrey School District. Hello. Parents, staff, honored guests, and the graduating class of 2021. It's my honor to address you today and to bring you greetings and congratulations on behalf of Surrey Schools. Your graduating year is one that will be forever remembered as unique. Unique in the way that you have learned and the, and the way that you celebrate this milestone with and for you. It was not so long ago that you entered our schools. You may have been excited, a bit afraid, but also full of wonder at what this school journey would look like. Your parents, too, had many of those same feelings. And now, here you stand on the brink of another phase of your journey, and it may bring back many of those feelings. For some of you, you've mapped out your next step, and for some, maybe not so much, and that's okay. But as you leave secondary school and watch this video with your family, I want to start by sharing a fragment of a poem that was read by Amanda Gorman, who was United States' first ever Youth Poet, poet Laureate. She read a powerful poem at the inauguration of President Joe Biden. And I wanna share a small fragment of this poem with you, not only because it's powerful, but because as she and others have demonstrated, there is a strong voice and power in our young people, in our emerging future, in you. So what did she say? She said, for while we have our eyes on the future, history has its eyes on us. This is the era of just redemption. We feared at its inception, we did not feel prepared to be the heirs of such a terrifying hour, 
but within it we found the power to author a new chapter, to offer hope and laughter to ourselves. So while once we asked, how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe? Now we assert, how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us? We will not march back to what was, but move to what shall be. So I believe these words also capture your last years of secondary school, but more so they capture the essence of events that have unfolded that are a call to action and change, and you have the power to be instrumental in this change. What did you hear when you listened to those words? Did you hear a call to equity, to inclusion, to dignity, a call that some things in our past must remain there and be no more? I hope that you can spend some time, either now or in the upcoming days and weeks, reflecting on the changes that you are about to embark and your now what. What impact can you have on shaping your future and the future of our broader community and world? My wish for you is that you continue to be lifelong learners and that you are reflective and curious, not only about who you are, but about what you see around you. We are getting nearer to the end of this pandemic. And as we emerge, we have the opportunity to move forward in a way that we never have before. We have the opportunity to not go back to some of our ways of being. And it's up to you what that will look like. For some things, of course, we are excited to go back to, to connecting socially as human beings and the importance of that for our well-being. However, there's also an opportunity to stand up for social justice and say that past human behaviors will not be tolerated and are simply not okay. So I challenge you, be a critical thinker, be thoughtful, be kind. Use your talents, not just to further yourself, but to help others. Use your curiosity to envision that which does not exist and to learn and to understand. And approach every day with purpose and happiness and strive to do something that will make a difference in the lives of others. Graduating class of 2021, congratulations on your graduation and my very best wishes for this next phase of your life. Thank you. Thank you to our Assistant Superintendent, Linda Reeve. And now a greeting from me to our graduates. Hello, parents, staff, honored guests. And now a greeting from me to our graduates and their families. Bonsoir et bienvenue aux dignitaires, professeurs, familles et amis de nos gradués. Merci pour être avec nous ce soir. Welcome parents, friends, teachers, and graduates to our virtual commencement ceremony. We are so happy to be able to celebrate with you and share this moment together. The term commencement means a beginning, the start of something new. Our hope for you and your families is that this moment does bring the first celebration of a new beginning and the realization of everything you've been working towards, even throughout the last year and a half. The whole world will remember you how you are staying strong, how you've shown resiliency, how you will burst back with your hopes and dreams once you are able. As you eagerly anticipate the next step, we hope that your years at Earl Marriott have brought you some wisdom and a few things to hold on to if you ever find yourself in doubt of who you are, where you come from, and where you're going. Here's a few things I'm asking you to hold on to as you leave high school. You are very fortunate. Lucky, actually. You are graduating from one of the best high schools in Canada. You have met teachers, mentors, and coaches along the way who have cared about you, encouraged you, and supported you. You are leaving us with a solid foundation to do anything you put your mind to. So congratulations on your success, but remember that there were many people involved along the way, and you need to thank them. Understanding that you can't truly take all the credit for your success, nor truly blame others for their failures, will humble you and make you more compassionate. The second thing we hope you realize is that you are brilliantly capable. In fact, there is nothing in this world that has been thought up or discovered or created that exceeds your intelligence, creativity, and motivation of the people who will cross this stage tonight. Don't wait for opportunities in life. Go out and create them. Never close yourself off from an amazing opportunity or adventure because you believe it is for somebody greater than you. There is no one greater than you. There are only people who choose to do great things. Be mindful of how you treat people along your journey to greatness. 
No matter how much you succeed in life, you will be judged by how you treat others and the kindness and respect that you give to those around you. The poet and musician Bob Marley said this, the greatness of a man is not in how much wealth he acquires, but in his integrity and his ability to affect those around him positively. Au gradué, entourez-vous des gens qui vous aideront dans la vie. Respectez tout le monde. Sachez que la vie est parfois injuste et que vous allez échouer de temps en temps. N'arrêtez pas de rêver. Prenez des risques et travaillez fort. Battez-vous pour défendre ce qui est juste et pour ceux qui sont moins privilégiés que vous et n'abandonnez jamais. Si vous faites ces choses, alors le monde sera bien meilleur que celui d'aujourd'hui et vous aurez contribué à ce changement. The third and final thing that you need to remember is no matter where you are, what you do, or who you with, you are always a mariner. This is something that did not fade through a world pandemic and it can never be taken away. So EMS grads, do what you need to do to be happy. And if you can, make a few other people happy around you as well. Ensemble, souhaitons-nous les gradués de 2021 bonne chance, le tout dans le bonheur et la santé. Congratulations to all of you. Well, we are now at that point in our ceremony where our EMS grads will be introduced and they are coming in as we speak. Just before we begin to have graduates cross the stage, I want to share with all of you the exciting news that more than $71,550 in school and community scholarships have been awarded to this graduating class and will be given out tonight. We are extremely grateful for the generous support and encouragement provided by our school community and the people and businesses of White Rock and South Surrey. Amongst all the graduating students, there are also 12 First Nations graduates that will be crossing the stage today. As is the tradition at Earl Marriott, each First Nations grad will receive an eagle's feather with their leaving certificate on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles from Semiamu First Nation. This eagle feather signifies courage and fortitude to go forward in their journey through life. Semiamu and our First Nation program wish you all safe passage. Councillor Joanne Charles has sent you a virtual message to our First Nations graduates. Go. Uh -huh. CM Siyat Skalitowit Squinimia Chesa Semiamo First Nation. My traditional ancestral names are Skalitowit and Squinimia Chesa from Semiamo First Nation. My English name is Joanne Charles. I share my traditional names with my mother, Mabel Charles, who's our eldest band member. Uh, on behalf of the Semiama people, I would just like to say Haishka to each and every one of you for participating here and being part of uh, uh, Earl Marriott's secondary grad 2021 and i would just like to uh um thank earl marriott staff and uh 
principal and vice principal and administration and Surrey School District for allowing us to uh, take care of the work we needed to do today with regard to uh, awarding eagle feathers to our grade 12 graduates for 2021. It is my honor here today to have my eagle feathers that we've 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 done with uh, uh, Samuel Witt and Kastantanot, uh, my relatives here who have helped me put together uh, our eagle feather presentation here and we um, will have somebody from the school will give an award to each and every one of the Aboriginal students who have graduated here today. The eagle feather is an honor to receive. It shows in our culture uh, as an honoring ceremony that they have completed a part of their journey in their life and uh, it is given with love and care to those that have received it. And we just say hi, Shka, for having good Shwalukwin, good feelings and one heart, one mind, not Samat, for doing all the work. We wish all the grads all the best and uh, just want to say th hi, Shka, and thank you again. Ah, Siam, hi, Shka, Siam, Siaya. And thank you to Councillor Joanne Charles for sending that message and, and Semiyamu First Nation, Hashka. Our graduates will be crossing the stage today with their fourth quarter Block C cohorts. That's the only time I have ever said at a graduating ceremony, I cohort. I would like to now introduce our first reader, Mr. Edward Avaka, who will introduce graduates from the first six cohort rows. Thank you, Ms. Davies. Are we ready? Our first graduate is Emma Barrett. Emma will be attending UVic to study geology next year. Her highlight at EMS was the bear sausage Mr. Rutley made. It was fire. Shane Boulder. Shane plan plans on attending university to study engineering. <laughs> Paige Carlson. Paige plans to attend Western University to study biology. She enjoys participating in Earl Merritt's soccer and volleyball teams and is grateful for all the friends she made along the way. She would like to thank her parents for supporting her wherever possible, and for helping her to achieve her goals. Regis Chung. Regis is planning on going to UVic to study social sciences. Bucky's Pizzeria will miss their best doughboy. Shona Clark. Shona's highlight from her years at EMS is undoubtedly her experience in the science co-op program. She will always be thankful for her unique opportunities that the work experiences presented, such as feeding hippos and giraffes while working at the zoo and watching surgical operations at a vet clinic. Shona plans to become a veterinarian surgeon and will be pursuing degrees in animal biology and veterinarian me medicine. She would like to thank her family for their encouragement and support and all the teachers who have given her consent, constant support, advice, and help throughout high school. We are pleased to announce that Shona is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for community service together with a White Rock Orthodontic Center Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Shona. <clears throat> Scott Coleman. Scott hopes to attend UVic in pursuit of a degree in engineering and is looking forward to the many long nights ahead. Stephen Dudra. Stephen plans to attend UVic to study engineering. He would like to thank his parents for all the support given. Darko Gevrilovich. Darko would like to thank his parents and all of his teachers for making his time at EMS an interesting and memorable experience. Darko, Darko will be attending UBC or SFU to pursue an education in biology. We are pleased to announce that Darko is the re recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for technical 
and Trades Training, as well as the Earl Marriott Principals Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Darko. <laughs> Paige Gordichuk. Paige will be attending Brigham Young University and studying chemical engineering. Paige is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for the International Languages, together with a White Rock Optometry Eye Clinic Award in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Paige. <clears throat> Sebastian Johnson. Sebastian will be attending SFU next year for sciences. Rugby was the highlight of his time at EMS. Dara Carvet. Dara will be attending Queen's University in the fall to pursue a career in sciences. She has many great memories of sports, theater, and science co-op, and is thankful to all the people who supported her along the way. We are pleased to announce that Dara is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts, together with a call around PAC scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations. Evan Lamb. The people Evan has met at Earl Marriott truly have made his time here special. He is looking forward to pursuing a computer science degree at Simon Fraser University. Thank you to all his friends and family for their support. <clears throat> Joshua Larson. Josh would like to thank his friends and family who have supported him throughout high school. He would also like to thank his teachers who put up with him. Next year, he plans to attend university to study architecture. <clears throat> Kenneth Lim. Kenneth plans to attend SFU to study sciences. He would like to thank everyone who stuck by his side and Madame Hare who made French more enjoyable. <clears throat> Noah Martin. Noah will attend at SFU for Mechtronics next year. Um, he'd like to thank Mr. Kovitz for his phenomenal Physics 11 class. <clears throat> Luke Pulfer. Luke is going to UBC next year for sciences. He'd also like to thank Mr. Kovitz for his fun classes and inspiring him. Jerry Chu. Jerry plans to attend university to study either kinesiology, business, or education. He would like to thank Coach Roberts and all his rugby teammates as they helped him adjust to life in Canada. He hopes to travel the world to help vulnerable people. <clears throat> Aiden Riley. Aiden's highlight of EMS is without a doubt his time spent in the theater. This September, Aiden plans to attend university to begin a Bachelor of Arts degree, potentially working toward a career in law. He would like to thank his family for their love and all the opportunities they've given him and Mrs. Radcliffe for always believing in him, even at times when he didn't. Aiden's love of the theater has earned him a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts, and a Society for the Preservation of Vaudeville Award in the amount of $500. Dorsa Sedegi. Dorsa plans to attend the University of Western Ontario next year to study health sciences. She would like to thank Mr. Moucherer, Ms. McNeil, and Mr. Campbell, and especially her friends and family for all their support. We are pleased to announce that Dorsa is the recipient of the Crescent Park Dental Scholarship in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Dorsa. <clears throat> Hannah Sobkowicz. Hannah will be attending UBC to study forest sciences and run on the track and field team. She would like to thank Mr. Campbell, Mr. Clift, and her track coach, Scott Kent, and most importantly, her friends and family for their support over the years. For her efforts in track and field, we are pleased to announce that Hannah is the recipient of the District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity. <clears throat> P. 
Parker Sutherland. Parker plans to go into pre-med at UBC and wants to thank his parents, friends, and family for their consistent support. Clay Tennant. Clay plans to attend UBC and study microbiology. Malat Taruna. Malat is thankful for her time at EMS and getting to be a part of the music community and make long-lasting friendships with her peers. She is excited to advance to university to begin her Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, as well as hopes to work during that same period. Jacord Badong. Jacord had a great time at EMS and looks forward to attending college next year. He would like to thank all his teachers, especially Mr. Van Hossentop. Ayesh Bawa. Ayesh is planning to go to university to study criminology. Michaela Beatty. Michaela plans to become a paramedic. She enjoyed participating on Earl Merritt's volleyball teams and would like to thank all the people who have supported her throughout her high school years. <laughs> Maya Bullock. Maya will be attending UBC in the fall on a rugby scholarship and will be studying psychology. She's thankful for her family and friends and all the memories she made at Earl Marriott. Jaden Cochran. Jaden will be attending Western University to study science in the fall. She would like to thank her favorite teacher, Mr. Clift, and all of her friends and family for making the last five years that much better. We are pleased to announce that Jaden is the recipient of the District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for community service together with the Anshu and Romia Aurora Education Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Jaden. Shamaya Coleman. Shamaya came to EMS in grade 10. Her first year was quite difficult, but she managed. She has enrolled into KPU and plans to study criminology with hopes of obtaining a bachelor's degree so she can become part of homicide investigations. <laughs> Sydney Davidson. Sydney plans on attending University of Alberta to study sciences. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for all the memories. We are pleased to announce that Sydney is the recipient of the Yvonne Denise Miller Award, in, Memorial Award, in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Sydney. <laughs> Annika Dudra. Annika plans on attending McGill University in the fall to study psychology. She wants to thank her brother, Stephen, for being a, her personal background character. We are pleased to announce that Annika is the recipient of an Earl Merritt Scholarship Trust Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Annika. <laughs> Katerina Dick. Katerina plans to attend McGill University next year to pursue a Bachelor of Arts degree. She would like to thank all of her teachers who have fueled her passion for learning, as well as her parents, family, and friends for encouraging her. Christopher Evans. Christopher will be attending business school at UVic next year. Harrison Furness. Harrison looks forward to pursuing a career in law enforcement. He would like to thank his parents for their support and guidance. <laughs> Melissa Garland. Melissa will be attending UBC to study political sciences in the fall. Melissa would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers who have helped her along the way. Andrew Gauntley. Andrew enjoyed being part of the band program. He plans on attending Kwantlen University next year. Bailey Goddard. 
Bailey will be attending UVic and would like to thank her family for their support and her friends for the amazing memories. <laughs> Shang Shang Hao. Shang Shang felt lucky that he was a part of EMS and is excited for the next stage of university where he will study computer science. <laughs> Sophie Kodosi. Sophie will be taking a gap year followed by attending Thompson River University for outdoor studies. She thanks everyone for making her experience at EMS a memorable one. <laughs> Isabel Newton. Isabel has been accepted into Langara College where she will obtain a certificate in Foundations of Health Studies. She will then continue into nursing school. She also wants Nate to know that if she can do it, so can he. Jekko Zabala. Jekko will be attending UBC to study kinesiology. He would like to thank his friends Sean Wu and Jimmy Yang and his family for helping him get through high school. <laughs> Ray Chang. Ray plans to attend LaSalle College to study game programming. He will not forget the joy his friends brought to his life. Holly Davidson. Holly has been awarded a $3,000 entrance scholarship to the University of Victoria, where she will be studying for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Writing. Omar DeWood. Omar is going to attend post-secondary studies at the UBC to study sciences. He thanks his family, friends, and teachers for all their support through the years. Lauren Emley. Lauren has received a $2,000 entrance scholarship to UVic, where she will study science. She would like to thank her friends and family for the constant love and support. <laughs> Rena Eit. Rena plans to attend SFU next year to study psychology. She would like to thank her supportive parents, friends, and teachers for all the great memories at Earl Marriott. Mac Leard. Mac has enjoyed his time at EMS and would like to thank his parents for their support. Going forward, he hopes to do some traveling and help make the world a better place. <laughs> Madison Niedemeyer. Madison will be attending the UBC to study psychology. Her highlight at EMS was Spirit Week. Emma Reed. Emma is hoping to travel as soon as possible and eventually have a career, personal training, and nutrition. <laughs> Victoria Robbins. Victoria will be attending the University of Victoria to study social sciences. She would like to thank her family and friends for the support and memories. Kelly Stevens. Kelly plans on attending operator training school to continue his pa passion for heavy equipment. He enjoyed his time in the mechanics room with his favorite teacher, Mr. Harrison. One of his favorite moments was starting up the Jeep in the shop class with no muffler and Mr. Harrison saying, Kelly, I think you woke up the whole school. <laughs> Sean Wu. Sean thoroughly enjoyed his time at Earl Marriott Secondary. He partook in many design competitions for school events and will further try to improve his skills in university. He would like to thank Jimmy, Jekko, Kyle, and many of his other friends for their memorable laughs together. <laughs> Jimmy Yang. Jimmy plans to attend KPU this fall to study graphic design. He would like to thank his friends and family for helping him get through the high school Jimmy is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for Applied Design, Skills, and Technologies. Lex Cameron. 
Lex would like to thank everyone for helping him get through high school. Lex is going to tear it up at UVic next year. <laughs> Disha Shudari. Disha has enjoyed her time at EMS and is happy for the friends she made. She will be attending college to study programming. Angelina Corda. Angelina Corda is planning on furthering her education next year as she pursues a career in teaching French immersion. She would like to thank all the teachers on the impact they had on her schooling and helped her along the way. <laughs> Emma Cosman. Emma is planning on pursuing a Bachelor of Fine Arts. She wants to thank the theater program for encouraging to always follow her dreams. Emma is the recipient of an Artona scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Emma. Sarah Cosman. Sarah plans to pursue a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree at Queen's. Sarah wants to thank the theater department for providing an endless amount of fond memories and laughs. We are pleased to advise that Sarah is the recipient of an Artona scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Sarah. Paige Evans. Paige will attend McGill University to study in the DeSaltles Faculty of Management. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for their continual support. Paige has thoroughly enjoyed the past five years and is now looking forward to seeing everyone in the future. <laughs> Michael Ficken. Michael plans to attend KPU business and pursue a year of traveling. <laughs> Alexis Friedel. Next year, Alexis will be attending the University of Alberta to study general science. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for always supporting her throughout the past five years. <laughs> Bobby Gardner. Thanks to Mr. Rutley, Ms. Radcliffe, and Ms. Kaler for making my years at EMS amazing. Rest in peace, Beauty and the Beast 2020. Teardrop. <laughs> Carmi Gumin. Carmi will be studying criminology at Simon Fraser University and plans on becoming a lawyer. She would like to thank everyone that has helped her along the way. Emma Haycock. Emma plans on studying nursing in post-secondary and would like to give a shout out to the teachers, friends, and family who have supported her along the way. Fred Knowles. Fred plans on attending university next year and he would like to thank his family and close friends. Fred is going places. He doesn't know where, but he's going places. Kate Leibing. Kate is thankful for the friends and memories she was able to make at Earl Marriott. She will be attending SFU in the fall. <laughs> Micah Logie. Micah plans on attending a post-secondary institution in the fall while pursuing his passion of track. He would like to thank all the people who have supported him over the past five years. Nolan McElwain. Nolan has had great memories of his high school years growing up with great friends at EMS and playing Mariners football. His future plan is to study at BCIT. <laughs> Norris Qureshi. Norris started at EMS at the end of January 2020. Despite the fact that he has not been at EMS very long, he has really enjoyed it. Next year, he will be moving to Calgary to attend Ambrose University and pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. <laughs> Keith Redford. Keith will be attending the University of Victoria and is hoping to travel the world as soon as he gets the chance. <laughs> Anna Ross. 
Anna would like to thank her friends and family for making her high school experience enjoyable. Anna's plans for next year are to go to university to study psychology. She's very excited for this next chapter in her life. <clears throat> Sharon Sandu. Sharon plans to attend SFU next year to study the sciences. She enjoyed playing on the basketball team and being a member of the Global Citizens Club. She'd like to thank her family for all her support. Sharon would also like to apologize to Mr. Ivaka for absolutely wiping the floor with him when playing bump. <laughs> Owen Scott. Owen would like to thank both his teachers and classmates. He will be attending business school at UVic in the fall. <laughs> Hannah Siemens. Throughout her three years at EMS, Hannah's had a good time and met new people. Next year, she will be studying psychology at Douglas College. <laughs> Samantha Berenger. Samantha would like to thank all her teachers for never calling her out for sleeping in class. She will be attending the University of Victoria in the fall, studying psychology. <laughs> Avery Blundell. Avery plans to attend the University of Victoria next year to study biology. She would like to thank her parents for all their support. Jaya Burns. Jaya has plans to attend the University of Calgary next year to study biology. She would like to thank her parents for their encouragement and all of their support. <laughs> Ashley Carroll. Ashley was part of the Humanities Co-op and Leadership Program. She will be attending Western University to study social sciences next year she would like to thank her parents, friends, and teachers for their continuous support. <laughs> Daphne Shandy. Daphne enjoys reminiscing of her time at EMS. She plans on furthering her French education by taking a gap year in France. <laughs> Simon Kern. Simon would like to thank the teachers who made class interesting and made him question the world around him. He looks forward to next year at UBC, where he will be studying in the Science One program. He hopes to pursue research for the therapeutic treatment of neurological and psychological issues. Sarah Dickin. Sarah has been awarded the President's Scholarship in the amount of $30,000 from the University of Ottawa. She plans to work in the House of Commons as a page next fall and will be pursuing studies at McGill University in the fall of 2022. Sarah would like to thank her friends and her teachers for putting up with her for these past five years. She would especially like to thank Mr. Rebselge, Ms. Rogers, Madame English, and Madame Hare for their unwavering support. We are pleased to announce that Sarah is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for community service, together with a Home Life Benchmark Realty White Rock Award in the amount of $500, as well as a Canadian Parents for French Award for French Immersion. Congratulations, Sarah. <clears throat> Mina Jordovic. Mina will be attending Keanu College next year on a basketball scholarship, taking a Bachelor of Arts degree. She would like to thank her parents and grandparents for their support. <laughs> Luke Emond. Luke plans to attend University of Victoria next year. He will miss not having to cook dinner. Luke, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Semiamu First Nation. <laughs> Henry Epp. Henry wants to make a lot of money doing something without putting much effort into it. So he plans to attend Langara and study kinesiology.
Katie Ferguson. Katie will be attending the University of Western Ontario in the fall and studying medical sciences. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers who have supported her along the way. Katie, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Semiamu First Nation. Katie is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity, together with the Surrey Teachers Association Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Katie. <laughs> Thomas Gibson. Thomas plans to attend BCIT to become a nurse and will never touch a math class again. Emma Goodhaney. Emma plans to attend the University of Victoria where she would like to study animal biology in hopes of attending a veterinarian school. Before attending school, she plans on taking a gap year and traveling to countries around the world, working with animals along the way. Thank you, Earl Marriott, for a very memorable high school experience. Andreas Jansen. Andreas is looking forward to continuing his studies at UVic, where he plans on attending law school. <laughs> Lauren Johnson. Lauren plans to attend McGill University next year to study kinesiology and play on their varsity volleyball team. She would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her, as well as Mr. Campbell for eliciting a love of science, and Monsieur Etier for providing her with the motivation to continue growing in her French. Because of Lauren's hard work on the volleyball court, we are pleased to announce that she is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity and the Ocean Park Community Associates Award for $300. Congratulations, Lauren. Madeline Kitteridge. Madeline plans to obtain her bachelor's in nursing science on Vancouver Island next year. She would like to thank her family, friends, and most importantly, her teachers for all the help and support throughout these past five years. I did it, mom. <laughs> Edward Lee. Edward has enjoyed his time at EMS and is thankful for everyone's help getting into a good university. He wishes a good future for y'all, including teachers. We are pleased to announce that Edward is the recipient of an Earl Merritt Scholarship Trust Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Edward. <laughs> Dion McDonald. Dion is glad to have been a part of the experiment called education. Phase one is now complete. Plug her in for phase two at Concordia University where she will answer the great question. <laughs> Alexander Milicevic. Alexander plans to pursue further education after high school. Not here. Okay. Well, just so you know, that's what he plans on doing. Connor Monk. Connor plans to attend UVic next year to study general social sciences. <laughs> JD Sawada. JD plans to attend SFU to study behavioral neuroscience. She would like to thank her teachers. Ms. Fraser, Mr. Rebselge, Ms. Weiss, and Ms. Oman. We are pleased to announce that JD is the recipient of a Surrey Teachers Association Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, JD. <laughs> Max Schwegel. Max plans to attend the University of Victoria next year, pursuing a Bachelor of Science. He wishes the best of luck to the graduating class of 2021. 
We are pleased to announce that Max is the recipient of a Surrey Principals and Vice Principals Association Scholarship in the amount of $400. Congratulations, Max. Cameron Sue. Cam will be studying Mechtronic Systems Engineering at SFU next year. Bobby Sider. Bobby is enrolled in a program that will take him to London, Paris, Amsterdam, and Barcelona for European immersion. He will then go to Thailand to work for a month, then on to Japan for language learning. We are pleased to announce that Bobby is the recipient of École La Ronde PAC scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Bobby. Harrison Tupper. Harrison has enjoyed his time at EMS and he is looking forward to the future. <laughs> and Catherine Wade. Catherine plans to attend UVic to study social sciences and psychology. Thank you to everyone for the past four years. She is looking forward to starting a new chapter in her life. Um, we would like to announce that we were going to be taking a five minute break. This never happens in real life and nobody has to share all the bathrooms at Chandos Patterson. So one of the bonuses for being virtual. Um, we will meet you back here in about five minutes, grab a coffee or a tea, and um, there is just a slight backup in, I believe, in the parking lot. And I can see that the kids are having a really fun time um, at the selfie booth that we have for them out here. So we'll just clear a little bit of the path. We'll meet back again in five minutes. Thank you.
Welcome back, everybody, to our virtual commencement ceremony for the EMS grads of 2021. I'd like to welcome Mr. Edward Avaka back to our stage. Thank you, Ms. Davies. Okay, so if we're ready, our next graduate is Isaiah Brown. Isaiah will use next year as a gap year and work full time. <laughs> Michelle Dye. Michelle is incredibly grateful for the wonderful staff, family, and friends for supporting her when she needed it the most. Michelle would like to enroll at would like to end it off by reminding everyone to do what you love and more importantly, stay true to yourself. Brandon Litchfield. Brandon is taking biology at KPU next year with plans on becoming a marine biologist. He is also interested in traveling throughout Australia in the near future. Aiden Lowe. Aiden is attending BCIT for Automotive Technology this following year. He would like to thank his peers, teachers, and parents for their support during high school. <laughs> Thor McKenzie. Thor will be taking a gap year next year. He hopes to work towards a profession in golf. He would also like to thank Ms. Fraser for making his work and opinions feel valuable. <laughs> Nate Purcell. Nate plans to work and travel once COVID restrictions have become less problematic. He wants to thank his mom, dad, and sister, and everyone who is grateful, or and everyone who has helped him along the way at EMS. He is very grateful. Cash Raymond. Cash will take next year as a gap year and continue to work. <laughs> Jovial Romero. Jovial will be taking a year off to live and enjoy his life for one last time before he goes to college. Joshin Sidhu. Joshin plans to attend the University, Fraser Valley, or, KP or KPU to study business management. <laughs> Carson Slonwhite. Carson will take next year as a gap year and continue to work. Ian Smith. Ian plans to go to the University of Victoria next year to pursue a degree in commerce and play rugby. He would like to give a big thanks to Adam Roberts and Bryn Johnson for being supportive and encouraging coaches on and off the field. <laughs> Dylan Weichler. Dylan's most memorable time spent at EMS was playing football from grade eight to 11 with Coach Mackay Dunn and Coach Todd. Sadly, football didn't happen this year. He greatly appreciated all of his support from the staff at EMS, in particular from Councillor Nina Sidhu. After graduation, he plans to go directly into the workforce. I would like, now, I would like to now introduce Mrs. Karen Denell, who will introduce graduates from cohort rows 7 through 12. Thank you, Mr. Ivaka. Andrea Alvidrez. This fall, Andrea plans to attend UBC in the future and in the future pursue a law degree. She hopes to visit 15 countries by the first grad reunion. <laughs> Sophia Lee. 
Xerxes Dablio. EMS is nothing but memories, definitely a story that will be sticking with him forever. From the rugby tournament to football tournaments, it was nothing but a laugh in the bus and on the field. Xerxes would like to give a huge thank you to Mr. Roberts, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Mackay Dunn, Mr. Fenwick, and Coach Sean for being the best coaches he's ever had. As he moves on with another chapter, he would like to take his time and work and save all the funds he can and travel. Thank you. Jacob Davies. Jacob's post-secondary plans include working behind the scenes on a movie this summer and continuing his education and playing football in the USA in the fall of 2022. Marco Danabriga. Marco would like to thank his parents, teachers, and friends for making high school go as smoothly as possible. Cameron Fittis. Cameron plans to attend the University of Victoria to obtain a Bachelor of Science. She would like to thank everyone who supported her throughout her time at Earl Marriott Secondary. As well, a big thank you to her family for being such a big influence on her success in high school. <laughs> Kaylee Grant. Kaylee plans to attend UBC in the fall to study in the Faculty of Arts. She would like to thank her family and friends for making the last five years so enjoyable. <laughs> Alicia Hartshorn. Alicia is planning a career as a social worker so she can help foster children. She would like to thank Dawn, the counselors, and teachers for always encouraging her and pushing her to do her best. Alicia, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Semyamu First Nation. <laughs> Gabrielle Papushka. Gabrielle is excited and honoured to be continuing her journey with a scholarship to the University of Maine in the Honours program and playing Division I softball. She wants to thank all her amazing teachers for putting up with her for the last five years. She is looking forward to what the future holds. Gabriella, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Samyamu First Nation. We are pleased to announce that Gabriella is a recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for Indigenous Languages and Culture and a Canadian Parents for French Award in Core French. Congratulations, Gabriella. Sasha Reynolds. Sasha will be attending the University of British Columbia Sauter School of Business to study commerce. She would like to thank her friends and family for making her high school experience memorable and fun. Sasha is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for community service together with the Morgan Elementary Alumni Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Sasha. Matthew Rusdahl. Matthew will be attending business school next year. He thanks all his family, teachers, and friends for helping him along the way and making him a better person. <laughs> Ashley Rolston. Ashley plans to attend the University of British Columbia and earn her Bachelor of Arts. She wants to thank Ms. Liang and Mr. Campbell for being amazing teachers and helping her succeed throughout her high school career. She would also like to thank her friends and her parents, Inura Rolston and Wade Tatlow, for always supporting her. <laughs> Dea Sarai. Dea would like to thank all his teachers and his family that helped him get through high school as well as all the friends he made in his co-op, including his awesome teacher, Miss Rogers. <laughs> Isabella Sleep. Isabella will be studying in the Faculty of Arts at UBC. She looks forward to seeing her EMS classmates in 10 years at the Class of 2021 reunion, where she will be happy to sign autographs. Isabella is the recipient of the Earl Marriott Grad Council Scholarship in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Isabella. 
Darian Tamas. Darian will be attending KPU to achieve his welding certificate. This will be his trade that he takes with him as he then pursues his dreams to become a police officer with the RCMP. He suggests keeping it over 5K. He thanks his parents and teachers for their encouragement throughout the years. <laughs> Lucas Van Yunen. Lucas will be attending UVic next year to study business. He plans to pursue a career in marketing. <laughs> Alan Zietlow. High school was like a walk in the park, Jurassic Park. Alan will be attending BCIT to become an electrician and has future plans to get his business degree at UBCO and own a business. <laughs> Justin Aldis. Justin plans to attend UBC to study business management. Matthias Bellen. Matthias plans to attend BCIT next year. He would like to thank his parents for their ongoing support and positive influence. <laughs> Angela Binning. Angela plans to attend SFU to study health sciences. She is thankful for her parents, sisters, and friends for their support. We are pleased to announce that Angela is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for community service, together with the White Rock Firefighters Community Bursary in the amount of $500, and the J.S. McDonald Award in the amount of $2,000. Congratulations, Angela. Cameron DeGroot. Cameron is planning on attending Vancouver Island University next year. She thanks her parents for the unwavering support throughout her life. <laughs> Cormac Enervor. Cormac would like to thank his teachers and will be attending BCIT next year. And he says, bye bye. Patrick Gagnon. Patrick plans to attend UVic next year in the business program. He would like to thank his parents for supporting him over the years. Aiden Godin. Aiden's time at EMS was quite enjoyable. The school allowed him to make new friends and learn interesting things. Next year, Aiden is planning on attending KPU, then transferring to U of A to study paleontology. He is hoping to travel to Bali, Indonesia in 2022. <laughs> Wesley Goodfellow. Wesley plans to attend UVic to study psychology. He would like to thank his family and dear friends. Roman Hare. Roman, while lifeguarding part-time, plans to complete a Bachelor of Science degree at KPU before applying to a Doctor of Pharmacy program. <laughs> Olivia Rudy. Olivia will be taking a gap year next year and would like to remind everyone to stay classy. Quinn Kennedy. Quinn plans to attend UVic this coming fall. She would like to thank her friends and family for their encouragement and support. <laughs> Cece LaMontagne. Cece will attend the University of Victoria next year, followed by lots of traveling. She will miss sneaking cafeteria cookies into her classes. Cece would like to thank her friends for making these past five years fun. <laughs> Leo Meacher. Leo will be attending UBCO for business management. 
He is really excited to graduate and move away. His favorite part of high school was meeting the diverse amount of amazing teachers over the years. He would like to thank Ms. Liang and Mr. Lewis, who both impacted his education by influencing him by advising to stay after class to understand topics better, which changed his grades overall. Brayden Perosny. Brayden hopes to attend SFU to study science. Sophia Rodriguez. Sophia's highlight of EMS was the Christmas pancake breakfast. She is planning to attend Langara College to study general sciences in nursing. Sophia is the recipient of a Home Life Benchmark Realty White Rock Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Sophia. <clears throat> Aditi Sharma. Aditi plans to attend the University of Victoria to study psychology. She is very thankful for the band program and all the things she learned whilst being a part of it. She will miss the band directors and members immensely. <clears throat> Ilana Sereni. Ilana will be attending Thompson River University in the fall to study biology. She will be playing on the TRU women's basketball team on a full scholarship. She would like to thank her family, friends, and coaches for all of their support, hard work, and dedication in helping her achieve these goals.
Samir Ali. Samir enjoyed volunteering as club president for the Earl Marriott Leos. He plans to pursue an arts degree at UBC. Samir is the recipient of the Earl Marriott Leo Club Scholarship in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Samir. Braxton Bertoya. Braxton will be taking a gap year to work and decide on his future. Actually, scratch that. Braxton is now decided he will be attending Kwantlen University in September. Congratulations, Braxton. Brooke Bowers. Brooke was part of the recreational leadership program, which allowed her to volunteer at her school and around her community. She would like to thank her friends and family for their continued support in her studies. Himmet Desi. Himmet would like to thank his friends and family for helping him through school. Himmet will be attending the BCIT business program to further his education. Maya Arakovich. This fall, Maya plans to attend UBC to study at Sauter School of Business. She is excited for the future and plans to see the world. We are pleased to announce that Maya is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity. Congratulations, Maya. Matthew Fletcher. Matthew would like to thank his parents, family, and friends for their help and guidance throughout high school, as well as the staff at EMS, who took the time to personally connect over the years. Next year, Matthew plans to play baseball at the University of Concordia. Maddie Gill. Maddie will attend UBC and complete a dual degree in science and business. She is excited to leave her mark on the world. Joy Go. Joy is an early graduation student. She is going to have a gap year and attend culinary school in Europe. She would like to say thank you to her parents for all their support. Justin Grant. Next year, Justin will be attending the University of British Columbia's Vancouver campus, where he will study at the Sauter School of Business. Over his time at EMS, he enjoyed the athletics. We are pleased to announce that he is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity, together with a Sir John A. Macdonald Leadership Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Justin. Alec Kemp. Alec would like to thank his teachers and friends for giving him a great high school experience. He will be studying business at UVic and continuing to bleed green. Hermat Madudi. Hermat will be studying architectural sciences at BCIT in the future. Blaine Patry. Blaine would like to thank his family, teachers, and LST for supporting him throughout these past five years and wishes everyone the best of luck in the future. Evan Sands. Evan will be attending UVic next year to study business commerce. Matthew Taylor. Matthew has enjoyed his time at EMS and is looking forward to his next stage of life. He intends to take a gap year to help him consider what career opportunities he is truly passionate about. While at EMS, Matthew enjoyed his two years in the hockey academy and playing with the EMS hockey team. He would like to thank the teachers, office staff, and Ms. Sidhu 
for their support over the past five years. He also appreciates the ongoing support of his parents, his sister Allie, his friends, and teammates. We are pleased to announce that Matthew is a recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity. Samuel Wong. Samuel will be attending SFU next year to study liberal arts.
Eliza Adams. Eliza plans to attend Trinity Western University to study business administration. She thanks all her friends for a memorable high school experience. <laughs> Cooper Bishop. Cooper had an outstanding run at Earl Marriott, but it's not over yet. He is going to tear it up at UVic next year. <laughs> Adriana Cabral. Adriana plans on pursuing a career in fashion. She thanks her parents for their support and encouragement. River Casa. River will attend SFU to study psychology. She wants to thank Alexis and Ms. Rogers for their support. Karis Danton. Thank you to Mr. Rutley and the EMS band program for giving me the opportunity to hit things loudly. Ella Daniels. Ella plans to attend the International Fashion Academy in Parents and Florence to study visual merchandising. Annika Noringseth. After five long years, Annika is excited to start a new path and finish off high school finally. She has been accepted to Emily Carr University to study art and design. Danica Renault Gould. Danica plans to attend Kwantlen next year to study psychology. She would like to thank her friends and family for their support. <laughs> Sophie Reynolds. Sophie plans to attend University of BC's for a Bachelor of Arts degree. She is grateful for her friends and family who have supported her throughout. We are pleased to announce that Sophie is a recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for Community Service, together with the Peninsula Production Art and Culture Award in the amount of $250, together with a Sir John A. Macdonald Leadership Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Sophie. <laughs> Jamie Robertson. Jamie plans to attend Thompson Rivers University. The highlight of her time at EMS was helping to create two of the yearbooks. <laughs> Williamson Sun. Williamson loved EMS. He enjoyed having fun on the rugby team. He liked all the teachers here, especially Mr. Mackay Dunn, who is so funny and nice. He's heading to university for next year. <laughs> Sakura Ueda. Sakura has spent three years studying in Canada, and she has really appreciated this amazing opportunity. She will return to Japan to attend university and study international liberal arts, which will put her in an environment to keep improving her English. She looks forward to the chance of being able to come back to study in the near future. Reina Wada. Raina had a lot of experiences as an international student. She will be attending university in Japan next year. <laughs> Mikhail Wilson. Mikhail plans to study public policy for a couple of years at a smaller institution. Mikhail is looking forward to the future.
Danica Dumont. Danica plans to attend UVic and major in psychology and biology. Her favorite memories from high school were hanging out with her friends and going on an exchange to Quebec. Danica is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for international languages and a UVic Excellence Scholarship. Congratulations, Danica. <laughs> Oliver Fang. Next year, Oliver plans on taking his studies to the Faculty of Applied Sciences at UBC with an undeclared spe specialization. Claire Go. Claire is going to take a gap year in Korea and attend Erasmus University in the Netherlands to study economics. She would like to thank her parents for all their support. Nathan Harvey. EMS is a cool place by the merit of the people who attend it. Although my future is unclear, my past is like a bed of nails, sharp and supportive. Jacob Holker. Jacob plans on continuing his education next year in Montreal at the University of McGill, where he has received a $3,000 entrance scholarship. He hopes to pursue a career in forensic psychiatry. Jacob would also like to thank Mr. Rutley for all the help he has given him throughout his years in high school. He would not be the same student and person he is today without him. Jacob is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts. Congratulations, Jacob. <laughs> Ryusei Iwasaka. Ryusei has been accepted to the University of Seattle to study psychology. Grace Kemp. Grace plans to attend SFU to study biomedical engineering. She would like to thank her grandparents for their unconditional love and support. Grace is the recipient of a REMAX Colonial Pacific Citizenship Award in the amount of $1,000. We are extremely excited to announce that Grace has been awarded an SFU Undergraduate Entrance Scholarship with distinction in the amount of $27,000. Congratulations, Grace. Saya Kondo. Saya plans to attend UBC to study nursing. She will always remember the chaotic and loud lunch hours. She cherishes, cherishes the memories with the friends, teachers, and classmates she's met and would like to thank them for giving her five unfor unforgettable years. Saya would especially like to thank her family for the support and advice which allowed her to su survive throughout the years. Zach Lenz. With the first pick in the first round of the 2021 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Zach Lenz out of Earl Marriott Secondary. <laughs> Aaron Lim. Aaron's dream is to study business at UBC. Although he would like to thank all the teachers he has had over the years, he would like to thank Mr. Rutley, Ms. Herman, and Ms. Fraser for having the greatest impact on him throughout his high school years. Thomas Munoz. Thomas will attend university in Washington to study business. <laughs> Rohan Parmar. Rohan plans to attend UBC Sauter School of Business. He would like to thank all of his friends, teachers, and family for support. Anne Ping. Anne will be attending university in the fall to pursue a degree in either business or kinesiology. She would like to thank her parents, friends, and teachers for their support over her five years of high school. <laughs> Kyle Reyes. Kyle would like to thank his parents, teachers, classmates, and friends for the great times together. It was indeed an excellent high school experience he will never forget. He is looking forward for an ex excellent year ahead at UBC. <laughs> Kylie Schlucker. 
Kylie plans to attend SFU to study sciences in the fall. Kylie would like to give a big thanks and an air hug to her friends, family, teachers, and track coach, Scott Kent, who have helped her along the way. She will miss her time spent at Earl Marriott, but is excited to open the next chapter of her life. We are pleased to announce that Kylie is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity, together with the Semiamu Rotary Club Scholarship in the amount of $750. Congratulations, Kylie. Desiree Sidhu. Desiree plans to attend UBC's Sauter School of Business next year to study commerce. She would like to thank her wonderful family and friends for supporting her along the way. Max Stone. Max will be attending Western Washington University on scholarship for rugby to pursue a degree in mathematics and statistics. Andrew Story. Andrew plans to attend UBC next year to study sciences. He would like to thank his parents and teachers. Jillian Tamblin. Jillian is planning on studying computer science at the University of Victoria. She is glad to have taken part in French immersion at EMS. Jillian is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for Applied Design, Skills, and Technologies. Congratulations, Jillian. Justin Yoon. Justin plans to study computer science at the University of Toronto. He thanks his parents, friends, and teachers who inspired and supported him. Justin is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for technical trades and training. Congratulations, Justin. CC Yuan. CC plans to attend university next year. Nolan Zhao. Nolan plans to attend the University of Waterloo for mechatronics engineering. He'd like to thank his parents for believing in him.
Um, we thank you for your patience online as we take these little pauses. Just so you know what's happening here on our end, it seems like things are going so smoothly as you're dropping um, the students off, they're lining up. So we've, we've um, uh, uh, gotten quite far ahead on that side. And then on this side, they are taking beautiful photographs and then there's a beautiful um, selfie stage that has been set up by um, Peace Portal Alliance. And then there's a cap throwing stage. And so we're running a little bit behind on this end. So when you're picking them up, that's why we have a little bit of a backlog happening in the parking lot. So we are trying to take a couple of little pauses so that we can clear everything on this end. And we really appreciate um, your patience while we do that. Thank you so much, and we'll continue. Ms. Karen Dennell. Thank you, Ms. Davies. Ava Bromley. Now that Ava's time at EMS has been spent, she's ready to take off into the open waters of the world. Equipped with all that she learned here, she's planning on taking a gap year to work and put together her portfolio, then pursue a career in animation and illustration. Godspeed, fellas. Carly Capozzi. Carly will be attending Kwantlen Polytechnic University in the Fine Arts Program. She would like to thank her friends and family for the unconditional support throughout her years studying at Earl Marriott. We are pleased to announce that Carly is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for Fine Arts, together with a Peninsula Arts Foundation Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Carly. <clears throat> Avery Fletcher. In the fall, Avery will be attending KPU to study social work and will finish her degree at UBC. She loves and will miss all her friends. George Garner. George will be taking a gap year next year. He thanks his family for supporting him through everything. <clears throat> Emily Heinrich. Emily's thankful for all the great friends she's made along the way and is excited to be furthering her studies at UVic next year. Tina Hong. Tina plans to attend the Alberta University of Arts next year. KK Hu. In the fall, KK will be studying photography at OCAD University in Toronto. Say cheese. Elodie Jameson. Elodie will be attending fashion school in the fall. She would like to thank Tori, and that's it. Jack Jiang. Jack plans to attend Laguna College of Art and Design next year to further develop in game design. He would like to thank his art educator at school, Ms. Van Reardon and Ms. Manning, for all the support and chances that were given. Kara McKinley. Kara plans to attend UVic in the fall and has received an entrance scholarship. She would like to thank her friends and family for their support. <clears throat> ben Mealy. Ben would like to thank his family and is excited to graduate. <clears throat> Ailey Menham. Ailey plans to attend the University of Victoria. She will major in psychology and minor in criminology. After university, she wants to continue traveling the world and find a career studying the behavior of criminals. Ailey would like to thank her friends and family for their love, laughter, and support. She is very grateful for all of the opportunities that Earl Marriott has given her and will always remember these years as some of the best of her life. Zofia Silzer. Zofia plans to attend Blanche McDonald's Global Makeup Program in the fall. 
She would like to thank her parents for all their help and loving support. Taisha Simmons. Taisha will go on to study psychology and hopefully get to travel around the world. She would like to thank her family, friends, Google, and her amazing teachers who had a sense of humor. Maxim Wilkins. Max has met some amazing people and had some unforgettable experiences during his time at EMS. He is looking forward to start his academic journey at BCIT this fall before moving on to university. Please come out and vote for him when he runs for prime minister. He knows he can count on the grads of 2021. I would now like to introduce Mr. M Michael Mackay Dunn, who will introduce graduates from cohort rows 13 to 23. Thank you, Ms. Dennell. Yusuf Beretti. Yusuf plans to take a gap year and work as a painter on movie sets. In the future, he would like to become a firefighter. He would like to thank everyone who supported him over the past few years. Congratulations. Way to go, big guy. Sean Bearsan. Sean's time at EMS was very enjoyable. His plan for next year is to attend Kwantlen Polytech University for Trades and later hopes to become a firefighter. Sean wants to say a big thank you to his awesome mom for dragging him through high school and helping him succeed. Nicholas Bolt. Nicholas would like to thank his teachers and peers for helping him get to this point and setting him up for future endeavors. Lexi Brassington. Lexi would like to thank her friends and family for their support to help her get through the past five years at EMS. She is looking forward to seeking new adventures, traveling, and post-secondary. Emily Claplin. Emily plans to go to Santa Barbara for a year to study kinesiology and play water bolo. She will then transfer to San Jose to pursue her dreams of playing Division I water polo. Emily, uh, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles from the semi First Nation. Congratulations. <laughs> Maya Kopp. Maya will be attending the University of Fraser Valley in September in the Faculty of Arts. She would like to thank Ms. Wagner, Ms. Ramsden, and her mom for helping her through high school. Caitlin Evans. As the human species, we are limitless. The only limits we hold are within our minds. We spend so much of our time using our imaginations to fear that, that which doesn't even exist, especially in high school. But you can use your imagination for so much more. Don't forget now, you are limitless. Caitlin is going to start her career on YouTube as an inspirational influencer and will portray love and truth in her filmmaking art, and designing clothes in the future. <laughs> Shuya Fuji. Shuya will return to Japan to attend university. Good luck.
No, I, I'm just going to, I'm good. I'm just going to redo these.
Claire Gilbert. Claire will be attending Western University to study psychology in September. She will miss all of her teachers at Earl Marriott. Sadie Gluvik. Sadie is attending UBC next year on a generous rugby scholarship. She would like to thank her parents and those who supported her along the way. <laughs> Jesse Godwin. Jesse plans to work and attend college for carpentry. We are very pleased to announce that Jesse is the recipient of the Martin Vance Personal Growth Award in the amount of $350. Also, he was an important part of the football team, Jesse. Congratulations, Jesse. Maya Grant. Maya plans on attending the University of Victoria next year to study social sciences. Zoe Hardiman Tarada. Zoe plans on attending University in Ontario and studying social sciences. She would like to thank her parents and friends for supporting her through the years. <laughs> Jalen Harrison. Jalen plans to attend aesthetic school next year and pursue a career in that field. Good luck. Jaden Harry. Jaden plans to attend SFU to pursue his lifelong goal of becoming a graphic designer. He would like to thank all his amazing teachers through his years at Earl Marriott. Jaden is a member of the First Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles of the semi humble First Nation. Congratulations. Ava Harvey. Ava will be pursuing acting in university after five years of theater in high school. She thanks her parents for their love and support. Emerson Heed. Emerson is planning on attending University of Victoria next year to study social sciences. She would like to thank her friends and family for a memorable high school experience. Megan James. Next year, Megan will be attending UBC to study classics and anthropology. All the best, Megan. Alexander Johnson. A highlight for Alex was when he met his group of best friends. Alex plans to attend BCIT in the fall.
They were missing one. Marina Kim. Marina plans to go to University of Toronto to study sciences. She thanks her family and friends for making the past five years enjoyable. <laughs> Rachel Kramer. Rachel is attending Kwantlen next year to study arts. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their support and encouragement. You're welcome. <laughs> Kingston Lamb. Kingston enjoyed his time at EMS and would like to thank Mr. Trevelyan and Mr. Van Husseltop. That's it. Vivian Ma. Vivian will be attending Parsons in the upcoming school year to study communication design. Vivian would like to thank all her teachers and friends as well as her parents who have been supporting her passion and work throughout her years at Earl Marriott. Brandon Martin. Brandon plans to attend Carleton University to study journalism. He enjoyed his five years at Earl Marriott. <laughs> Deanna Mirmotalabi. Diana's years at Earl Marriott were definitely interesting. Not something she would do a second time, but definitely an experience. She especially enjoyed Mr. Mackay Dunn's grade eight English class. Just wanted to throw that in there. After graduating, Diana will be continuing her education by studying psychology in university. She would like to thank her parents for all the sacrifices they made for her to be where she is today, not to mention their infinite amount of love and support. To add, she would also like to thank Helena, her favorite person ever, for being the best little sister and being the re reason Diana never gave up. Congratulations, bud. Wendy Nguyen. Wendy is grateful to graduate this year. She would like to thank those who have helped her and given her the opportunity to access the wonderful culture in Canada. She appreciated how welcome, welcoming everyone made her feel. She would like to thank Ms. Garby for all her support. Well, Cole Parker. Cole plans to attend UBC and study environmental science. He would like to thank Mr. Cowan for his ongoing support throughout the year. Congratulations, big guy. Naya Peters. Naya will be attending the University of Victoria to study social work and gender studies. See, she especially enjoyed her time in the band program and will miss her teachers dearly. Lola Peverly. Lola will be attending the University of British Columbia and would like to thank everyone who helped her get there, especially her cat. Gabriel Pita.
Gabriel, or Gabriella, plans to attend SFU to attend psychology and criminology. She would like to thank her family and friends for their overwhelming support, as well as her teachers for supporting her throughout her two years at Earl Marriott. You got it. Rachel Powell. Rachel will be attending the University of Victoria to study biology next year. She thanks her family, friends, and teachers for their continued support. Rachel was the recipient of District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts together with the White Rock Orthodontic Center Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Rachel. Hey, way to go. Nathan Preshon. Nathan plans to attend Emily Carr University next year. He thanks many, including the careers department and Miss Rogers for making his experience more valuable than he ever thought it would be. We are pleased to announce that Nathan recipient Earl Mary Grad Council Scholarship the amount of $250. Congratula congratulations, Nathan. Rachel Pulfer. Rachel will be attending University of Victoria for Sciences. She would like to thank Mr. Campbell for Science Co-op and Mr. Rutley for ending the year on a high note. Another high note, we are pleased to announce Rachel is the recipient of the District Authority Award of $1,250 for Fine Arts. Congratulations, Rachel. Bryn Sandu. Bryn will be attending the University of Northern Michigan on a full ride scholarship for wrestling next year. She would like to thank her parents, high school coaches, and teachers and friends that put up with her. Peace out. And Hope Saprunoff. Hope plans to attend the Mosin College UVic nursing program in the fall.
Andrew Romanos. Andre has been accepted into SFU st statistics program next year where he'll, he will obtain his bachelor degree in sciences. Andre plans to become a statistician. Congratulations. Put the tassel over. Yeah, there you go. And then you go out to this, this way. Standing ovation. This, go that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nathan Zawada. What can I say? Nathan would like to thank his mom and dad for their support. Not your brother? Not your thing? Okay. He plans to attend BCIT to become a fire technician. Congratulations. Kiana Sherrill. Kiana plans on attending university and she would like to thank her family and friends for making high school such a memorable, enjoyable time. Great. Amy Turco. Amy plans to pursue a teaching degree so she can have summers off. <laughs> William Wiseman. William is proud that he has completed all of his tasks and he's ready to be injected into the real world. He's excited to be a contributing crewmate to society. Forrest Sia. Forrest will be studying architecture at University College London next year. Please refrain from the Forrest Gump jokes. Thank you. Run, run for us. Run.
Maddie Bedard. Maddie plans to attend a post-secondary school to pursue a career in teaching, perhaps come back to Earl Marriott. She is grateful to have met so many amazing people throughout her time at Earl Marriott. She wishes everyone all the best in the future. Josh Berzan. Josh hopes to travel to Australia within the year. He has always, always appreciated the support of his friends and family. <laughs> Modesty Bouchard. Modesty plans to take a gap year and hopes to find a farming internship. She hopes to one day own her own farm. Thanks to all her teachers at Earl Marriott, and a special thank you to Ms. Schallenberg. Angelina Chu. Angelina is an international student from Taiwan. She enjoyed her time at Earl Marriott and is proud of being a member of the Leo Club. She will be, will be attending the Faculty of Science at UBC. She would like to thank her parents, teachers, and friends for their support. Claire Viola. Claire is going to take a gap year next year to take the time to decide on her future. She would like to thank her parents for all that they have done for her. Georgia Fraser. Georgia has been awarded a President's Entrance Scholarship in the amount of $3,500 from the University of Victoria. She was chosen to do a pathway to a Master's of Management. She would like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Roger, Mr. Cliff, Ms. Denell, and Mr. Pursuit for helping her, helping to make her years at Earl Marriott memorable. She would also like to give a special shout out to Mrs. Fraser, who actually wrote this for her. We are pleased to announce that George is the recipient of District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for physical activity along with the Te Surrey Teachers Association Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Georgia. <laughs> Andrew Kaslovich. Andrew plans to attend BCIT to study in their aviation maintenance program. She would like, he would like to say thank you to all the teachers and friends who made school a great experience. <laughs> Rowan Kemble. Rowan's highlight at Earl Marriott was when someone found a beetle in a muffin from the cafeteria. Rowan is taking a gap year next week, year to work. Maybe you go for, into cooking or culinary stuff. <laughs> well done. I'm not making this up. This is right there. Max Kim. Mac is, Mac, Max is thankful to have been given the chance to develop valuable skills and meet lifelong friends at Earl Marriott. Max will be attending UBC to study engineering. Lastly, he would like to thank his parents and his sister for continuously supporting him, creating an environment where he can succeed. Max is the recipient of a district authority award in the amount of $1,250 for community service together with the Earl Marriott Scholarship Trust Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Max. Clinton Koo. Clinton plans to attend York University to study kinesiology next year. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support in the last five years. Congratulations.
Why don't you put them after Gracie in this group? I can find it. Arjun Lali. Arjun will be attending SFU in the fall where he will be pursuing a degree in business. He would like to thank his family for all their support and guidance. <laughs> Nayla Ali. Nayla will be attending uh, KPU to study criminology. She would like to thank her parents and friend for their kindness and support. Megan Batten. Megan has met many great people at Earl Marriott and hopes to stay close with them in the years to come. We are pleased to announce that Megan is the recipient of the District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts. Congratulations, Megan. Dominic. Cardinal. Dominic would like to thank all the people who've helped him throughout the years and those who have helped me grow to be the person he is today. With a special thank you to Don, Mr. Mackay Dunn, and Ms. Randua, Randawa. Dominic, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Semiama First Nation. We're also pleased to announce that Dominic is a recipient of Bernard Charles Memorial Bursary in the amount of $500. Yeah, congratulations, Dom. Yeah, no kidding. Congratulations. Vikram Dinsda. Vikram would like to thank his peers for a number of unfair, forgettable memories at Earl Merritt. In addition, he would like to give a shout out to the OGs, Miss Wilkie and Miss Lang for making his years at Earl Merritt a little easier to handle. Following high school, Vikram plans to pursue his passions for architecture and sleeping in. Congratulations. <laughs> Jacob Diaz. Jacob is moving on from the super high school level, and now he's going to be the ultimate college student, and he's going to become a shining hope for the world. Gracie, here comes Gracie Erfel. Gracie would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their support. Best wishes to all the grads of 2021. Okay, you look wonderful.
Josh Shala. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, the next one is, I like George's Fraser's. Oh, you got his name. Okay, good. Shall I got him? I had him in my class. Nope. Yeah, thank you. Josh Shiala. Josh would like to thank his mom. He will be attending KPU and transferring to UBC for business. Good luck, Josh. Lucas Fiorino. Lucas is happy to be graduating and would like to thank his parents for all they have done for him. Don't forget to move your, your tassel. Josh Friesen. Josh enjoyed his time at Earl Marriott and looks forward to going to BCIT to become an electrician. Taryn Grundy. In the fall, Taryn plans to begin her apprenticeship in hairstyling and start on the road in getting her red seal. Taryn has loved her time at Earl Mary. We'd like to thank Ms. Jenkins, Mr. Cavanaugh, Ms. Brabenek, and Ms. Garrett for all they've done in helping her start her career. Congratulations, grad. We did it. Meg Hayes. This upcoming fall, Meg will be studying nursing at the University of Alberta. It's chilly up there. She would like to thank her friends and parents, as well as Mr. Rebshaw, Mr. Ethier, and Madame English for all their fun years in French immersion. Nico Hayes. Band and music have been a passion for Nico in school. He looks forward to a career in social work and volunteering with Scouts Canada. <laughs> Olivia Henders. Olivia is planning on going to SFU in the fall, and actually she is going to SFU in the fall. Now she's been accepted, and she's going to pursue a career in teaching and then come back to Earl Marriott, right? Yeah. She would like to thank her teachers who had to deal with her hyper self as her caffeine addiction escalated over the years. She wishes everyone the best of luck and excited to reconnect in 10 years. We are very pleased to announce that Olivia is a recipient of Earl Mary Commencement Committee Scholarship in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Olivia. <clears throat> Matthias Heemstra. Matthias is happy to have survived the same high school his dad attended and is looking forward to going to commerce at university next year. Congratulations. 
Alex Houghton. Alex will, be, will attend BCIT next year to study biomedical engineering. Congratulations.
last group. I think so. I'll check. Uh, second, no, no, that's too early. One, two, the third from the last, but they're all they're all very short. Three months? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and this is the, right. this is, that's my copy. This is the other one. Okay. And I think I have a technical problem that we're doing our group and so we have to make sure that we don't have any sort of um, um, just in case people are starting to go on and see. Right? Can you try that next group again? Right. There's three more groups. Yeah. And then that will oh, jump in. You're so trying yeah. to live stream. Yeah. So we need yes. to start yes. up this one yes. just so we yes. can. Please be patient, stay yes. with us. And yes. Okay, I'll do that right now.
Now, for all you, you viewers, we have three more groups to go, and then we'll have our valedictorian give her address. So stay tuned. So we just have three more groups of grads. So A.D. Ilimobola. A.D., since childhood, has always been a very, very interested in computer sciences. Adjusting to the learning culture in Canada has been challenging. However, thanks to the dedication of his teachers and his family support, he has been able to overcome most of these challenges. A.D. looks forward to gaining a mission to study computer science in college next year and in the coming years to develop skills in software engineering. Good luck there, A.D. <laughs> Angelique Kanda. Angelique plans to attend UVic in the fall to study psychology. She thanks her parents for their patience with her poor time management skills. Angelique is a recipient of a district authority award in the amount of $1,250 for community service as well as Earl Marriott Scholarship Trust Award in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Angelique. <laughs> Ty Christensen. Ty enjoyed his time at Earl Marriott Secondary. He would like to thank everyone for all of their encouragement and support. <laughs> Alexis Lofman. Alexis plans to attend SFU next year to study English. She wants to thank her mom, Mr. Winters, and Mrs. Rogers for their support and encouragement. Alexis, as a member of the Earl Marriott First Nation program, has received an eagle feather on behalf of Councillor Joanne Charles and the Semiamo First Nation. Congratulations. <laughs> Samantha Mitchell. Samantha will attend Kwantlen Polytechnic University to study psychology next year. Her highlight at Earl Marriott was sitting with friends at lunch, joking around, and having a good time. <laughs> Lil Monastori. Lily would like to thank her teachers for their efforts and kindness throughout the last few years. Lily hopes to attend college in the future to study languages and cultures. Congratulations. <laughs> Eric Mueller. Eric plans to become an engineer in the future. Did he go, Eric? Also, he was on the football team. Martin Nguyen. Martin's time here included many conflicting emotions that people have helped him overcome. He plans to attend the Vancouver Film School after months of work. Congratulations, Martin.
Ebray Park. Ebray is looking forward to studying education in the fall. She thanks her family and friends for all the love and support. We are pleased to announce that Ebray is the recipient of two scholarships. Ebray is the recipient of an Artona scholarship for the amount of $1,000 together with the District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for fine arts. Congratulations, Ebray. Brendan Patton. Brendan greatly enjoyed his time at Earl Marriott. He would like to thank friends, family, teachers, and coaches who have su supported him throughout. Way to go. Quinn Richardson. Quinn is excited to attend the BCIT film and television program next year. He would like to thank Ms. Radcliffe for introducing him to the technical theater which helped to set the course of his life. Quinn would also like to thank Mr. Schmidt for sponsoring the Earl Marriott Robotics Team and supporting us for many years. Quinn is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for applied design, skills, and technologies together with the REMAX Colonial Pacific Citizen Award in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Quinn. Bubinder Sandar. Bubinder has applied to the teaching program at Simon Fraser. Good luck. Jake Stevens. Hey, Jake. Jake plans to continue his studies in heavy-duty mechanics at BCIT. All the best, bud. <laughs> Emmett Thompson. To those who have crossed my path, I am truly sorry for the everlasting dissatisfaction that accompanies me. I hope one day I may I am able to break the shackles and find my true self. Neil Young wrote, it's better to burn out than to fade away. These words mean everything. All right. <laughs> Vienna Thiessen. Vienna plans to move to Colonial to study forensic anthropology and hopefully open her own mechanic shop when she was older. Vienna is the recipient, recipient of the Bear Zen Family Scholarship in memory of Maggie Hood. This scholarship is in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations. <laughs> Braden Van Gallen. Braden plans to attend USC, or excuse me, University of Fraser Valley next year to study criminology. He would like to thank his parents and his OPA for their support. Good luck. Congratulations, bud. Jake Ward. Well, Jake is going to be, take a gap year next year to work on his music production. Good luck, Jake.
Devin Weston Kilt. Devin's time at Earl, Mar Earl Marriott was as short as she is. <laughs> but it sure was fun. She'll be studying photography at Langary College next year. Congratulations. <clears throat> Matthew Weeb. Matthew will be starting mechanical engineering at BCIT next September. He wants to, he wants to thank all his teachers for their, all their time they've given to him through his journey in high school. He is sad to be leaving such an amazing school and wishes the best of luck for the rest of his grad class. Matthew is the recipient of a district authority award in the amount of $1,250 for technical trades and training, to, training together with a Barazan family scholarship in memory of Maggie Hood in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations, Matthew. John Chow. Hey, John. John will be attending the University of Toronto to study mathematics. Good luck. Thank you. Serena Keeley. Serena is attending the University of BC a Bachelor of Arts program with a dual degree in Masters of Management from UBC Sauter. She is grateful for her time at Earl Marriott, especially for her time in student council and learning in textiles. She would like to thank her family, teachers, and friends. Serena is the recipient of a District Authority Award in the amount of $1,250 for applied design skills and technologies. Serena is also the recipient of the Earl Marriott Student Government, Government Award in the amount of $1,000. We thank you for all your hard work this year, Serena. Thank you. I would like to recall Principal Claudine Davies to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Mackay Dunn. Congratulations to all the graduates. We have two very special presentations left in our ceremony. And first, I am absolutely thrilled to introduce you to our 2021 valedictorian. The process to become valedictorian at Earl Marriott is grueling. Students first submit their application to the valedictorian selection committee after which shortlisted candidates present short speeches to the committee. Finally, the final three applicants campaign for a week before a student vote is held. This young woman is involved in all aspects of Earl Marriott life. In addition to being an honor roll student, she has been a cabinet minister of the Earl Marriott Secondary Student Government from 2017 to 2019 and has been its prime minister for the last two years. In 2018, she was a recipient of the Junior Chenelian Award for Outstanding Leadership, Kindness, and Contribution to the School. She is also the founder, creative director, and designer of her very own fashion company called Chalance. Please join me 
in welcoming to the podium the valedictorian for the grad class of 2021, Serena Keeley. Thank you. I would first like to gratefully acknowledge that we are on the shared and unceded territories of the Semiamu First Nation. The Semiamu people have been stewards of this land since time immemorial. There is an old adage that says, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. As mariners, we have navigated both smooth seas and stormy weathers. But just as mariners have used different forms of navigation tools, such as a compass, we Earl Marriott Mariners have been so fortunate to have our own compass to help with support, guidance, and direction. My respected graduating class, our compass has been with us through all types of sailing. A compass rose consists of a north, south, east, and west on the compass face. Instead of those markings, our compass has consisted of the teachers, staff, and administrators of Earl Marriott Secondary, our parents, guardians, and families, our student body community, and our own passions and intuitions. Our compass has provided us with tools, knowledge, and the comfort of knowing it is always there for us. To our teachers, school staff, and administrators, I thank you all on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. To our teachers, thank you for sharing with us not only your lesson plans, but also your life lessons, your entertaining stories, and your valuable experiences. You have helped us grow into the young adults we are becoming today. To our school staff and administrators, thank you for devoting each day to shaping our school into the positive, safe, and inclusive environment that it is. And to our parents, guardians, and families, thank you for unconditionally believing in us, supporting us, and most importantly, loving us. Your constant encouragement, wisdom, and direction has acted not only as a compass, but an anchor. Beginning the moment we entered Earl Marriott, all of us as students, staff, and visitors were welcomed and protected by the welcome posts in the foyer of our school. These Quanalian posts were carved in 2013 by the incredible Semiamu carver, Leonard Wells. They represent our strong, valued, and treasured bond between our school community and the Semiamu people. They will remain in place as long as our school exists. We are grateful for this connection throughout our journey as mariners. From annual pancake breakfasts to junior prom to countless chaotic lunch hours, we have been so lucky to experience a journey that we will remember forever. Throughout our journey, we have leaned on each other. We marveled at the variety of clubs at the annual club fairs, cheered each other on at sports games, go Mariners, applauded our school shows, and listened, debated, and encouraged one another within the classrooms. As a graduating class, we are an integral part of each other's compass making the needle go wild with school spirit. Notably, when we collaborated on Grad Spirit Week earlier this fall, walking into EMS all dressed as tourists was a perhaps peculiar, but special way to declare our school pride. While we couldn't cruise to Hawaii, we could still take a trip to the parking lot for photos. In addition to our joyful adventures, we have shown our optimism, strength, and integrity this past year. As we are navigating the stormy weathers of the COVID-19 pandemic, the class of 2021 has proven to be resilient and compassionate amid adversity. The wonderful staff of Earl Marriott have worked tirelessly to provide us with a socially distanced yet still connected place to learn. We Mariners have practiced teamwork and persisted with cheerful and grateful hearts. Throughout our five years at EMS, 
there has always been something joyful, entertaining, and educating going on within our school community. Our grade 12 theater leaders directed our annual one-act plays, working with younger grades to present us with comical scenes. The talented writers of our graduating class continued our Maritimes newspaper, keeping us in the loop about the many pursuits of the EMS community. We shared silly answers and enjoyed friendly competition in student council's cohort Kahoot trivia contests. The fine arts department displayed their work, both as performances on stage and portraits on the wall. Various EMS athletics thrilled us with their achievements. Our yearbook committee captured many precious moments, working hard to create our highly anticipated yearbook. Together, we continued our beloved EMS traditions, such as the Duke of Earl, celebrating the humorous highlights of our high school experience. Throughout it all, we listened to our band's beautiful music play, both informally in the hallways and formally in the theater for concerts. Our compass within Earl Marriott Secondary has helped us to find our own direction during our quest as Mariners and discover our own educational paths, whether it is the liberal arts, sciences, fine arts, applied skills and technologies, or trades, the many options at EMS have allowed us to explore various academic journeys, including near seas and far waters. We are privileged to have a French immersion program with passionate teachers and creative methods within the classrooms. Our grade 11 co-ops gave us the opportunity to partake in work experiences off campus to better understand our potential future professions. The applied skills, technologies, and trades departments allowed us to watch our visions turn to creations made by our own hands. The educators at Earl Marriott have truly helped us to delve into our school subjects, learning beyond the curriculum. As graduates, we have shared our own knowledge, experiences, and talents along the way, appreciating and learning from one another. Our passions and intuitions are key points to our compass. Whether you are an artist, athlete, student council member, academic, or anything meaningful to you, your compass is unique. We have cherished our own and each other's specialness for five years now. As graduates, we will use our compass differently from mariners at sea. While they may have held their compass in hand or had it attached to their ship, ours will remain in our hearts, leading the way through the rest of life's oceans. Thank you. Merci. Hushka. Thank you, Serena, for that wonderful address. We just have a few more things. Um, as valedictorian, Serena will be receiving the annual valedictorian trophy and a Nookshuk keepsake. Uh, there are two honor cords, which she will also receive. And I'm going to ask my colleagues, um, the vice principals of the school, Ms. Alkelshaw, Ms. Farker, and Mr. Cowan, to help me with this. In addition to the Earl Merritt Valedictorian Trophy, the Honor Cords and Keeper Gift, I would also like to present Serena with a gift on behalf of Golden Tree Jewelers. It's in the little gold bag, Ms. Alkosha. The Golden Tree Jewelers Award has been celebrating excellence among local students for over 20 years, and we thank them for their annual contribution. On behalf of the Golden Tree Jewelers, I am pleased to present Serena with a beautiful watch here this evening. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, you're holding a lot of things there, hey? All right. Well, if we could just get you to stay there for a minute. Our last presentation is a very prestigious award unique to Earl Marriott, the Ulysses. Please welcome EMS teacher, Ms. Shannon Rogers, who will introduce this year's Ulysses Award winner. Good evening, everyone. The Ulysses Award alludes to the legendary Greek king of Homer's poem, The Odyssey, wherein overcoming life-changing adversities, the main character's heroism and virtue are revealed. How apropos, then, that this year's Ulysses winner is both heroic and virtuous. With particular reference to the hero in Homer's epic poem, I would like to highlight a few of the outstanding qualities of this year's winner. First, the hero's every impulse bends to what is right. It might be easy to become jaded to lose hope at this time in our history, when pragmatism is valued over principles, how things look can be valued over how things are, and one's credentials are valued over qualities of character. But this year's winner values principles, reality, and virtue, remaining unjaded and full of hope. Second, the hero is brave and adept. Bursting with Ulyssian resolve, our winner has not only bravely overcome personal challenges, they have devoted their time at Earl Marriott to showing others how to be brave and adept, encouraging and helping many to soar beyond their own adversities. And third, the hero is mindful that any journey that stirs them is not far off, that they can reach their goals, and that it is the journey itself that makes a life. Our winner leads by example, is committed to imbuing school spirit, has an infectious optimism and a tireless sense of duty. Their commitment to kindness, empathy, and leadership is obvious in their service to the school throughout their time at Earl Marriott. Initiating, organizing, and leading events for peers and younger students comes naturally to them. Expecting nothing, motivated entirely by a compassion for others, our winner is an exemplar. Marshalling the student council, helping others less fortunate, maintaining school traditions, and initiating inclusive activities that are at the heart of what it means to be a mariner. At a time in our world, when superficiality, optics, and populism seem to reign, this year's winner is an example of how substance and character still matter. Poet Dorothy Parker's allusion to the hero's odyssey beautifully describes our Ulysses 2021 recipient. As Parker writes, In the pathway of the sun, in the footsteps of the breeze, where the world and the sky are one, she shall ride the silver seas. She shall cut the glittering wave. They will call her brave. Please join me in applauding virtually or actually this year's Ulysses winner, Serena Keeley. Thank you, Ms. Rogers, and congratulations to you, Serena. A special thank you to our EMS Dry Grad Committee, who have generously donated a scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to this year's recipient of the Ulysses Award. And I'm sorry, but we're going to have to load you up a little bit more. Um, honor Accords and an annual Ulysses Trophy and a Keeper Award go to Serena. And Serena, you have to stay because you have one last job. We're not going to give her the big trophies? <laughs> okay. Um, Serena, why don't you put everything on the table and you own it all? Um, so your mom and dad might have to come in and help you out there. Yeah. 
And if you just wait right here, because at the very end, you're going to lead us with the um, cap throw, right? So if you just come right here in the circle. We are nearing the end of our virtual commencement ceremony. I would like to thank our readers, Mr. Edward Avaca, Ms. Karen Dennell, and Mr. Maca Michael Mackay Dunn. I'd like to also thank Artona for being here. They are out in the lobby and they've taken photos of our grads on this very special occasion. Each graduate will receive a commencement photo prior to the end of the school year. I would like to express our gratitude to West Coast Gardens for supplying the beautiful roses that were presented to the graduates tonight. To our special guests representing the Surrey School District who participated in making virtual presentations to our graduates, the Earl Marriott community expresses thanks. This virtual commencement ceremony would not have been the success it was without the hard work and dedication of Earl Marriott's commencement committee, scholarship committee, valedictorian selection committee, and the entire office staff who made this event possible. In particular, I would like to thank Doris Batgard, Keely Speechley, and Tracy Beveridge for all of their hard work in organizing all of the other staff. Thank you so much. And for that wonderful video that you made. Finally, on behalf of the entire Earl Marriott community, I would like to express our sincerest thanks to Peace Portal Alliance Church for opening up their doors for the second year in a row to host our virtual commencement ceremony. I would like to thank Jeff Stewart, Peace Portal's youth administrator, who reached out to us again this year with the offer to host our graduation ceremony. We are so very grateful for this gesture, and we know that you have offered this gesture to the other schools in our community and to all of the alternate learning center schools as well. Thank you to Jordan Noble, Technical Director of Peace Portal Alliance for live streaming today's special ceremony so that the entire event may be shared with the graduates, family and friends. You will note that if you keep going back to this YouTube channel, you can watch this again and again and read some of the comments when you get home. Um, and then we will also be sending you a uh, recorded version of this evening so that you can share it with family who are not available this evening. And now some final words for our graduates. Ready? Learn from the past, plan for your future, and live in the present. Dream big, follow your passions, and be open to all possibilities. I would like to introduce the graduating class of 2021. Woo! <laughs> Thank you everybody and have a great evening. Serena, I need to go get a picture with all these trophies, man. <laughs>